Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us discuss about string immutability in C sharp. Immutable objects are objects whose values cannot be changed. But in C sharp programming, most of the times we, we will change the values of strings, but still strings are immutable. Let us understand why strings are immutable using an example application. Here I have created a sample console application and I am declaring a variable string1 and I am giving the value as Adam. And here I am creating a variable string2 and here also I am giving the same value Adam. Let us write a statement initial hash codes. Hash codes are the values which are related to the address in the memory. Each object in .NET will be stored inside the memory and it will have a hash code. I'm printing the hash code of string1. string one dot get hash code and also I want to print the hash code for second variable. Now I am running this application. So now both objects got the same address, but why we got the same address? Because when the application runs as both of these variables ha having the same value first in memory it creates adam in the memory for string one and it points to that memory address so it will have some hash code that can be the address location that we got after running the application. We have seen some address value inside the console. When we create string2 with the same value as Adam is available inside the memory, it points string2 to, to the same object. Now, let us change the value of string2 to some other thing like maybe let us make let us change the value as a robot now let us print the hash codes now Initially, we got the same hash codes, but after changing the values, hash codes are we got different hash codes. So, why we got different hash codes? So, when we change the value of a string, .NET creates .NET first it checks the string pool if the value is available or not. If the value is not available, it goes to the memory and creates the object inside the memory so robert is not available so it has created one more object inside the memory at some different address maybe 7890 and after that it points that variable or uh, or, or that string variable to this particular address now let us change or let us declare one more variable string 3 and let us let us keep the value as robert and now let us print the value for three variables
if we run this application now after introducing third variable first one first string one is having adam and the other two are having robert so both the variables which has robert as the value got the same address so what happened here is when we created string 3 as robert is available inside the memory it simply pointed dotnet simply pointed string 3 to robert so why the strings are immutable here so we are not changing the value of an existing string but instead when we change the value dotnet is creating a new object if you like my video please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you